Hey everyone, it's book lady Angela here with some brand new fiction titles to share. First up from our line of little board books, we have The Town Mouse and The Country Mouse. These are all classic nursery rhymes that are retold in beautifully illustrated little board books that are just perfect for those little hands to hold. Our ever popular That's Not My series has a new one called That's Not My Lemur. We're all familiar with those textured patches on all of the pages for little fingers to feel and explore, but did you also know that these books help develop sensory language and awareness? Our brand new black and white books have four different titles. This one is Hello, and it says hello in all kinds of ways. These feature high contrast illustrations, and other titles in the series include Outdoors, Animals, and Bedtime. Our popular phonics readers have two new editions with 10 pin penguins and owl in a towel. These colorful and silly stories use phonics to help work on specific sounds as your child is starting to read on their own. And many of these also feature a QR code on the back that you can scan to have the story read out loud to you. We Love You Magoo is about a dog who just can't stop getting into trouble, and he keeps getting told no and is wondering if this family loves him at all. But don't worry, in the end, of course they do, and there's plenty of love for Magoo. The author of the Hey Jack and Billy B. Brown books, Sally Rippin, has a new one called Big Dog, Little Dog. And this one is all about this big dog who is perfectly comfortable at home, has a great routine down, and doesn't really need anything to change until Little Dog comes along and changes everything. And at first, they're not sure that they can get along very well, but as time goes on, they figure out a way and a new routine so that everybody can get along. And then it's not so bad having Little Dog around after all. Another famous author of ours of the Nibble series, we have Emma Yarlett with a new one called It's Mine. And this is all about this object that is just here and everybody is calling it theirs. And these different animals are coming up with what they think that it is. Maybe it's fruit or a wheel and they all have their own opinions on what this item is until they find out what it actually is at the end of the book. If you are a fan of Never Show a T-Rex a book, we now have Never Teach a Stegosaurus to do sums. If you do teach your Stegosaurus to do sums, that Stegosaurus might put the sums together to build a rocket ship and fly into space and meet up with aliens and bring them back home and cause chaos for everyone. Uh, but don't worry, in the end, it'll be okay and your Stegosaurus will take care of everything, right? Stella Arfant is about an elephant named Stella who is determined to become an astronaut. She hands in her application and she's told no, she can't be an astronaut, she's an elephant. There's no spacesuit for her, so she puts together her own spacesuit. She's told she needs a rocket ship to fit. She builds a rocket ship. She needs a crew, so she assembles the crew and she's still told no. In the end, she decides she doesn't need anybody's approval and she's just going to be an astronaut all on her own. Could you use some new bedtime stories? You're in luck. We have three new illustrated collections starting with Poppy and Sam's favorite fairy tales. These feature illustrations from Stephen Cartwright who is the illustrator on all the Poppy and Sam books and features six classic fairy tales like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Goldilocks, and the Three Bears. If you have more of an animal lover at home, this features five different animal stories, simple text, and colorful illustrations. There are stories in here like The Greedy Dog and Chicken Lickin'. If you have an older reader who enjoys mermaids, this collection actually features nine stories about mermaids and mermen from all over the globe. There are colorful illustrations as you read through, and the final story of the book is The Little Mermaid. The Sticker Dolly sticker books have been so popular, they are turned into a chapter book series. There is one sheet of stickers at the front of the book that you can use to dress up those dollies. As you read, they oftentimes have a mission or something that they need to solve or complete, and all 10 of these books are standalone reads, so you can read them in any order. A brand new series is Marie Curious, Girl Genius. There are three titles in this series where Marie uses all of her science smarts along with her friends to save the world from evil using one invention at a time. 
Fairy Unicorns has a brand new addition to the series. This is actually the seventh book now. And in this book, they follow Zoe to the magical unicorn island once more. This time, she's going on an underwater adventure with sea unicorns to try to find the precious spell book. From the author of The Lightning Girl, we have Star Switch. In this, we have a famous pop star who actually ends up switching places with her number one fan. The Kenzie and Max series has three new additions to that. And in this series, there is a set of girl and boy twins who are solving all kinds of mysteries. These are action-packed and suspenseful and stories that are full of adventure. Finally, we have another brand new series. This is the Midnight Unicorn and the Darkest Unicorn. These are journeys of adventure, mystery, and danger that bring two very different girls together to try to solve all kinds of problems while taking on many fearsome villains.